I'm sorry, Richard, but I did warn you. You told me we'd have all the permissions in place by June. You said we'd be in the first stages of construction by now. Yes. But you know I said the authorities here are even slower than they are in the UK. And we still have issues with access and overdevelopment. Summer will soon be over and we're still sat in a wasteland. Why isn't Bernard here? You can meet him tomorrow. No, I can't. I'm flying home this afternoon. You'll have to get him to call me. What do I tell him? Ich habe immer noch Bedingungen über den Zeitplan. Wir holen auf. Your German's getting better. Well, it will be fluent by the time we get started. Give me 15 minutes, Paul. Right, sir. Shouldn't be too much traffic. Straight through. I want them in the room with the champagne when we begin. What? No, nothing. You're going to be late. I'll be fine, just getting changed. Well, seven o'clock, remember you're giving the open speech? Don't worry, I'll be there. Trip went well, since you ask. Sorry, you're breaking up. What did you say? Nothing. See you soon. So, what are you up to over the weekend, Paul? Me? Well, me and the wife are going over to my daughter's. When is the baby due? She gave birth last week, sir. Baby girl. Congratulations. It's my mother-in-law. She, 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 she's hurt. Um, OK, C uh, Constable, can you wait with this gentleman until we can get a paramedic over? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Come and sit down. Come on, come sit down. Your shoulder looks dislocated. Yeah, it does. Done some first aid? My ex boyfriend was into rugby. He used to happen all the time. Not a macho type, huh? Look, can I help? Hold that. Arm. Um, just this. Yeah. Uh, is this going to hurt? Nah. Walk in the park. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. I thought you said it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, well, we should have asked the paramedic then, eh? <laughs> yeah, that'd allow him as well. We'll get your sling for that. Oh. OK. My name's Jane, by the way. Hi, Jane. Hi. I'm Richard. I'd love to shake your hand. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You have that back. Thank you. All right, well, it's all right. Anytime. I'm better go and help hurt some other people. Keep looking in your direction. Can't talk to him. No. Good looking man. Can't keep his eyes off you. Trust me. Enjoy it. 
Thank you. Richard, where are you? I'm in a service station on the A12. I've been in an accident. Oh, my God. You all right? Yeah, just a few scratches. Paul's in a bad way now. They've had to take him into hospital. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look, they want to keep me here, um, make a statement. I'm really sorry. I know how important tonight is to you. No, 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 it doesn't matter. Just let me know what happens. Of course. Okay, see you. Chocolates are over. Yeah. Thanks. I have to admit the secretary sent that. <laughs> I think she could have found a bigger box. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you need time, take it. You know your job's waiting for you. Actually, sir, I don't think I'll be coming back. Oh. I've been talking with a wife, and we're thinking it's probably time I called it a day. Because of the accident? It makes you think. When I was in the car, too. What were they trying to tell me? Oh, hello. I think your admirer is back. What's he doing here? Well, but your five is not here to see me, so I'm just going to go over and make myself busy. Cindy! Hey, how are you? Didn't expect to see you back here. How's your shoulder? Well, it's better now. It's not poking up my body at 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, well, you do look a little less like an extra from a horror film. Thank you. So, what can I get you? Do you want to eat? Uh, would you be offended if I said no? Nah. I'd think you had some taste buds. It does tend to be what people do when they come here, though. Well, actually, I came here to see you. Me? To thank you for helping me the other day. It's just all in the line of duty for a hard-working waitress. I noticed you didn't leave a tip, though. Well, perhaps you can let me repay you by taking you out for a drink. No, it's not necessary. Come on, I'll take you anywhere you want. <laughs> anywhere? You name it. Well, there's this restaurant at the top of the Eiffel Tower I quite fancy going to. OK, you are. <laughs> you don't know me. No, that's true. That's true, I don't know you. Let's get a drink. No, look, I'm really sorry. I can't stay. What's the matter? Well, it, I, I'm in a relationship. Well, there's an open <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're being honest, so am I. I'm married. You're married? Well, for now, at least. Oh, okay. Well, it's only a drink. They do great cocktails, yeah? Well, anything you want. Glass of wine? Yeah, they do wine. Oh. Yeah. If you don't like her, then why are you still together? If <laughs> yeah, you're engaged to be married, why are you here? Because she said it was just a drink. Does your fiancé know you come? See, I think you are here for the same reason that I am. The same reason I went to the service station to see you. Which was? Well, if I had to tell you, you wouldn't be here. So, yeah. What's to tell? I work in a service station and I'm engaged to be married. You happy with that? Or shouldn't I be? Well, that's what you want. You should be. Oh, I don't know, Richard. You have all these dreams when you're younger, don't you, about what you're going to do when you're older and places you're going to see. I had dreams of travelling the world, 
France, Spain, Italy. Do you know I've never been out of the country? You couldn't. Sad, isn't it? I mean, I've got my passport and everything. I got that as soon as I could, but I've never used it. Big on dreams, small on risk. Not sure we should count going abroad as a risk. Ah, oh, for me it might be. I think if I left, I'd never come back. I've got this vision of a villa on the hills in Italy. Red wine, olive groves, that sort of thing. <laughs> you must think I'm mad. No, 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 I don't. Will you come out with me tomorrow? No, we, we agreed to drink and besides I'm working. I'll call in sick. Seems to be the tactic amongst the people I employ. Kandinsky. Russian painter, turn of the century, big passion of mine. There's an exhibition opening tomorrow, invitation only, you've just been invited. Come on. Take the risk. You like it? Well. Leon Shuguru. He studied with Kandinsky and Murnau in 1908. You can see the similarities. Oh, definitely. A dynamic and expressive arrangement of colours and lines, pioneering a completely new visual language. You studied Russian Expressionism? Nah. I read it on the poster outside. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what it means, but it does use some very pretty colours. Mm. Thanks. Stressful day. Well, I'm Faraday. Mm. Jane Tarrant, nice to meet you. A million, million and a half, you could have this hanging on your wall? Oh, I would, but... Wouldn't match my wallpaper. Hmm. <laughs> Richard, good to see you. Oh, hello, are you? May I introduce Jane Tarrant? We met. Oh, I'll leave you two together. drink, the more crazy these paintings get. Mm -hmm. Do you know they sell for nearly a million quid, some of them? I heard. What do you think of this one? Honestly? I like it. Yeah, I really like it, actually. I don't know what it means or anything, but it's full of all that crazy colour and energy. Sort of makes you want to reach out and touch it. Oh, why don't you? No. <laughs> I'll get chucked out. I think you're OK with this one. And why is it fake? Oh, I hope not. It's mine. You own it? Yeah, and um, a couple of the Kandinsky's. I lent them to the exhibition. Well, how much...? Well, was well, They were an investment. Anyway, I think it was buy two, get one free. <laughs> oh, my God. You own it. <laughs> and you didn't even set the alarm on. What? Don't. <laughs> come on, I want to take you out. Come on. We are out. No, I mean out, out. I'll get my car to pick us up. I want to buy you lunch. Best restaurant in town. No. I've got a better idea. I can't remember the last time I did this. I had someone to do it with. Dave not into picnics? No. Dave doesn't see the point in eating outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, he's into football and pubs. He's typical bloke's bloke. Yeah? What does that make me? My mum used to bring me up here when I was a little kid. And we'd sit and we'd watch the city together. She always used to say it made her feel free. I never really knew what she meant at the time. Listen, what you hear? Traffic. Sirens. The sound of a city. You're mad. <laughs> you think? I bet every city has its own sound. I want to sit on a hill by Rome or Paris and listen to its beat. You ever done that? No. Can't say I have.
You know, you're beautiful. You are. Play with me. I'll take you to a foreign city. And you can show it to me like it's the first time. Yeah, but you've seen them all already. Yeah, but not with you, not the way you see them. I'm serious. Come away with me. <laughs> I only think I'm crazy. We've been invited to Bath on Saturday evening. Tom and Elaine are having a party. That sounds fabulous. What's this one in aid of? It's not in aid of anything. It's dinner. Well, much as it pains me, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it. Why not? I thought you were going to be around this weekend. I may have to fly to Hamburg. Rudy phoned. The office build out there's already a month behind schedule. Well, surely someone else can go in your place. It's precisely because I relied on somebody else that we're behind. Don't forget about the board meeting. How could I forget? Highlight of my week. What is wrong with you, Richard? Hey. Um, catch me at my best, why don't you? What are you doing here? I've got something for you. Star. Tomorrow. Champagne bar, 2.15. That's half an hour before the train, you and me. Tomorrow? We can't just up and leave tomorrow. Yes, we can. You're married. What is there to lose? You're not happy. And nor am I unless I'm with you. something else. You see my passport? I can't find the damn thing anywhere. The plane isn't ready, Richard. The plane you were flying to Hamburg in, it's being refitted. No, I'm, um, I'm taking a charter. BA. That'll be why your secretary's booked you on the Eurostar. Two tickets. I'm leaving you, Angela. Oh, yes. Is this how you want us to spend the rest of our lives? In this kind of dead existence? You know, life is learning to breathe while everything around you is trying to suffocate you. It's like seeing things. What's her name? Her name's Jane. She's made me feel happier in a week than you have in 15 years. And I take it your money has nothing to do with this sudden infatuation. You don't know anything about her. I don't need to, do I? I know you. You find some girl to pander to your whims and all of a sudden the world looks rosier. I think you've forgotten the board meeting. I'm leaving. You don't have the gun.
Afternoon, sir. Did you pick up my case? It's in the back, sir. Let's hurry. I'm a bit late. No problem. Here's fine. There's no pleasant way to say this, so I won't even try. My husband is a shit. Gentlemen. Apologies for my lateness. Let's get down to it. You weren't the first time, I'm afraid. No? No. I don't take pleasure in seeing people hurt. But I'm always the one to pick up the pieces. And you might as well know. The first was a cleaner from his office. He took her to Scotland. Then there was a waitress who got a weekend in Hamburg. He likes them working class and he promises them the earth. Quite literally. He's a fantasist. Yeah, he is. He fantasizes about leaving you. Actually, we both dream about leaving each other. Anyway, there it is. I don't know anything about you, and as I say, I'm sorry. Thanks. You didn't really think he was serious, did you? No. Nope. The tickets he bought were returns. Thank you. 